Uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, so the uh, triple limited banners here, and uh, you know, I think most of us kind of predicted this after the triple limited banner came last time, um, which is yeah. Actually, I just realized something. Okay, you guys, obviously you guys can't see this, but yeah, this is weird. I don't know how this is happening because I have, I'm, I'm, I'm logged in right here, right? You guys are seeing this, <laughs> but I'm also logged in on my phone and I'm doing, <laughs> and I'm doing, um, labyrinth as i'm talking so i have i have no idea what's going on i didn't know you could do that um usually every time i log in while i'm already logged in uh the, the game will sign me out um <laughs> but i have no idea what's going on right now uh this is pretty trippy um anyway let's i guess let's just get over here let's just count that as a blessing that i can do two things at once um labyrinth might be like a separate instance and then it like will leave that the way it is, but that's still very strange. Um, yeah, this is a. I just I forgot. I usually you know it shuts it down, and I was doing a lab while I was getting all this stuff set up because I have. I'm using blue stacks now because uh, Nox player is kind of crapping out on me. Um, so I was setting some stuff up, and then in the meantime, I was just doing you know daily stuff on, <laughs> on this game, and then I signed in and didn't realize that I'm just having simultaneously playing this game apparently. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so, you know, from last time, uh, we kind of figured the triple limited banner would be here for this, which is pretty interesting. Um, these are always, like, they're, they're, they're definitely significantly better in value for your, uh, bookmarks than, you know, the way we had to pull for them last year and the year before that, uh, having to do them all one at a time, um, which is pretty awesome because... Not only is it good for new people to come in and just try to like you know go for dizzy and then maybe you'll get you'll probably you'll, you, you may get bikins or alfelts along the way and a bunch of all these other artifacts, um, but they're also good for us who have already been here because basically you, you can't lose here right you get whichever one you want um, and then you get merges along the way hopefully uh, if you get you know any luck at all but um, so yeah I mean I kind of didn't want to make this video as you can see there I have a lot of bookmarks so I, I certainly can and it's not that big a deal. Um, but I didn't really kind of like want to summon um, just because my Dizzy's already done. Um, giving her an imprint isn't going to help a whole lot. Um, Biken, I already have two Bikens. My other Biken's in the box currently still. Because um, I have just really no re re needs, there's no need for her because I don't even have a gear or anything to build one Biken. So, you know, having two Bikens is whatever. And uh, imprinting her, I wanted two to have one for different reasons. So one is like a one shot nuker and one is like a, a speedier like you know cr booster but like none of them i don't have the gear for either of them and and um they just i don't have a lot of use for her uh currently so that's kind of that and then Elfeld, obviously she got some buffs she's a little bit better uh hopefully i don't have her five star but hopefully i can uh pull a copy of her and then five star her with that or uh, six star her with that copy um and you know save some resources along the way um if not i think that if i pull an alpha i'll probably six star her and then um you know try to build her from there um but if not it's not that big a deal i mean alpha she looks all right but she doesn't really do anything for me that like a falconer clary wouldn't do but better uh granted falconer clary will just like defense break someone and then you know she can't really kill them the way um the way elf can but that's really not that big a deal because um, you should have other units on your team that could just snipe it and then you know there you go because you have two turns of defense break and they can't really do anything they can't move they can't uh, well i mean they basically they're stunned but you know they get a basic attack um but yeah so you know that's kind of my thoughts on Elfeld in general is that even with these buffs it's like those of you who saw five finger shuffles video i mean that's kind of one of the better ways to build her and you can't really get enough damage out of her that way um she should barely you know she can kill people and you you probably for those of you who've built her you know you probably built her and taken her into rta and you can certainly kill people but again you have to realize that those people are just, you know your, your gear is usually beating those people so either you get the kill and it's because your gear was good enough or you don't get the kill and it's because your gear wasn't good enough um whereas something like uh you know remnant violet 
just kills things whether regardless of gear quality because of the way his mechanics work 50 percent defense penetration is not like anything to mess with um but yeah so there's like a lot of units that are you know they can kind of do what she does better in terms of single target nuking like you know watch her sure he ignores defense and just snipes a person um you know why, why would i want Alfelt instead of that right um but yeah i don't know we'll we'll, uh, we'll see so uh, that's kind of what that was, just talking about Outfelt. Now, the, the main thing I'm pulling on this for is more, more misconfiles. Uh, obviously, Necron Undyne is a, is, a, is a pretty good artifact too, but you kind of need it at max limit break, and I'm not going to pull for that because that's kind of dumb. Um, uh, but yeah, let's, let's get in here and do this real quick. Oh, actually, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's pull here. Um, daily. Uh, I thought, I kind of take that as a April Fool's joke, maybe I didn't read that somewhere, um, maybe I didn't like read it somewhere that they would tell us uh, why that was there, but for those of you who remember on April 1st, um, you know, obviously a few days ago, they gave us 10 free summons that day, uh, and I I got kind of baited and I was like, oh man, 10 free summons, uh, I'll probably summon tomorrow uh, and do those 10 with this, you know, triple limited summon banner, um, which would have been the second, but I got, you know, I got... I got baited. I thought that we'd have like a whole week of, of 10 free summons like we usually do, but uh, I didn't, which to me, that's kind of one of the best, that's like the best type of uh, April Fool's joke, right? Is the kind that like, ha, we gave you 10 free summons and baited, baited you into thinking you get more. It's like, well, I mean, you know, still it was nice that we got 10 summons. So that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Let's get in here and uh, start summoning. Uh, like I said, I'll probably just go as far as a, a confile pity, which means about 100 summons. Oops. We'll get it out of the shop here. Um, I could use um, Powder of Knowledge, but I don't have that much right now. Like, I have to, right, because you have to get the bottle every, you want to get the bottle every every time. And, you know, I don't know if I have enough... Uh, powder to to get the bottle and and the confile i need both of them so i can just pull this one for sure and then you know maybe get that one um but yeah let's just kind of get in here uh, like i said dizzy merges won't help but i'm not like summoning for dizzy merges um i really think not only that but like it kind of hurts to summon on this just because you know that like there's another collab coming in and probably you want to not only want to save because if they did it the same way they did uh, the Guilty Gear collab, you want to save like two pities worth of summons because, again, they, there's a chance that if they have more than one unit, they're going to be separate the same way Biken and Dizzy were. Uh, and then eventually, again, they're probably going to be separate when, um, um, you know, if they come another year around or something like that. Uh, not to mention, um, even though we don't have, you know, theoretically there's nothing, I don't think there's any data mines for it either, but... Theoretically, there's no data mines for it or either, either anything like that, but you know, we might still get um, somebody else from Guilty Gear for some reason. Okay, so five star. Uh, Elfelt. So basically, I guess it's, you know, I'm making a, I'm making Elfelt, which is pretty cool. I like, I like this counter here because it tells you how many, um, how many you've summoned. Um, and it keeps track, right? So once you, like, it's just a small thing, but it's always annoying when you're pulling right on a limited banner and you're gonna hit pity. Um, like the, the the number down here where this thirteen is counts down uh, until you're about until you're gonna hit pity. But like you always forget what like you don't pay attention to the number until like you know it's it's too late. Like you're like oh you summon the five star. You're like oh how many did I summon? How many? How far was I? Or whatever. And it's like it's just annoying. It's just a small thing, but it's it's kind of funny. It's like all right, got her in thirteen pools. Fantastic. Um, so that's one elf felt, um, again, uh, any bikins are, you know, they're pretty nice, Spike and his waifu after all, um, uh, we got this, this guy here, or that's, that's a girl, I thought, I always thought that was a guy, which is annoying because in Epic 7, I thought this girl was a guy, but then in Genshin, I thought that guy was a girl, and they both look very similar too, that's hilarious. Um, like I said, yeah, Biken merges. Biken is uh, best girl after all, so I mean, any merges on her would not hurt. Um, and of course, Dizzy is just, like a very, very strong unit, so uh, merges on Dizzy would never hurt either. 
Actually, you know, it's funny because I didn't click, like, I, like all these shinies that I get, I click through them anyway. Uh, I could, oh, I could use more, um, Aethers. I didn't know that you can feed Aether into Guider Aether. Uh, and then, like, basically multiply your, your, um, Silver Transmit Stones, right? Because Guider Aether gives you one Transmit Stone per copy because he's a three-star. But if you have a Guider Aether, no, I mean regular Aether, right? Regular Aether is a three-star. One transmit stone, one silver transmit stone. Guider Ither gets you, I forgot how much, I think it's like three, uh, because he's a four star. So if you use him as a four star and you feed in other copies of regular Ither, when you go to fought, when you go to transmit him at triple S imprint, the game recognizes it as like seven, as if you're turning in seven four stars instead of one four star and like, you know, five or six three stars, right? Um, so for those of you who didn't already know that, that's that's pretty good. So just save all your Aethers until you get Guider Aether, feed them all into him, and then if you don't want to use Guider Aether, I mean, have at least I have one copy that's triple S that's just sitting in my barracks, but I have another copy of Guider Aether, and I just need more regular Aethers. Um, and that gives you like 77 silver transmit stones. It's ridiculous. I don't remember exactly how many, but it's a lot. Um, so if you're ever having trouble with that, just, just remember, you know, you, that's always a, a good option. Hey, we got another person. Let's see who we got. It'd be funny if it's Elfelt again. Ooh, Dizzy, yay. Um, Elfelt's the only one that's like the most profitable, right? Because she saves me resources. All right, because I just like cl click through these normally. Um, but funnily enough, when it when it was the, the first Elfelt merge, <laughs> was like, I just didn't click on it. Uh but yeah, so Alpha's probably the most profitable because it saves me resources. That's another five star I don't have to waste on uh, six starring her. Because uh, obviously she's been sitting in my barracks for who knows how long. Uh, the other thing is I really don't have the gear for Elfelt. Um Like I barely have enough gear for a fast... Uh, what's her name? Cerise. So, you know, Elfelt is like... Eh. Hey, I can, why is it skipping all of them now? That's annoying. Uh, these rates have actually been pretty ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's let's go back here and change this. I don't know why it's doing that. It shouldn't be. Uh, language account settings, server check. Uh, where is it? Game settings, summon settings. Skip. Let's not skip these. Uh, well, I don't know. It's just because again, like I had to use a new um, new emulator, so like you have to kind of do reduce. Some, like I forgot that I had um, the English that it gives you the English by default, and then I have to go change it to Japanese. That's so everything's still in English right now. Um, but the the point I was saying is, for some reason, it always has those boxes checked. I'm not sure why. Like, you, you'd think you'd want, like, new players to come in and, and, like, be amazed by the summoning system and not, like, skip through it. Um, and, you know, as you're more experienced, you really don't care, right? Because you have so many resources, you're like, whatever, and you just, like, blow through all your uh, your summons. Um, I might switch on the the, the four-star one. The five-star one is the one I is more important just because it's, like, a little more uh, anticipation. But if you do the four-star one, it's, like... It kind of like spoils it for the five star because it's like, oh, you know, I skipped through that that shiny, so it wasn't really anything. So our rates are pretty good so far. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, you know, there's another Aether, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so unfortunately, we haven't gotten any um, artifacts, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. Um, again, that's the the point of that uh, that pity system. Uh, let's see. So yeah, two Elfelts and a Dizzy. So we're at 60. So we're only going to 100 summons. So I'm waiting for uh, Nemunas's um, specialty change, actually. Uh, hey, there we go. I was just saying we didn't get any. So Torn Sleeve. I have like three copies of it for some reason. Oh, wow. I got an Elbrus and I just I just burned resources last 
<laughs> last bottle rotation or last uh powder of knowledge shop rotation <laughs> for this um but that's good that's good uh it doesn't really matter considering um albert's ritual sword is always useful um like you you need multiple copies like i know it, it's you kind of want one at least max limit broken but like having multiple copies you also kind of need that too because like everybody uses it well you know a lot of the good units use it uh, and then just having basically it just gives your whatever your your uh, whoever's using it it gives them more turns more more or less right like specifically like obviously i mean it's like the most perfect artifact for charles right because uh, charles's main thing like charles has an s3 and he has an s2 but they don't really do anything because the s3 only gives him the buffs and sure it's aoe and it's fine right uh but charles's biggest thing is just his s1 right because the s1 chains since the s2 and then you basically just do massive damage off of that um so the more his turn is only important because he can s1 and then that s1 has a chance to get the s2 right um which you know basically elbrus just gives him more turns by letting him counter more often so that's kind of what's up with that which is pretty cool uh and then we'll be able to do a um a moonlight summon after this i just need more adamant shields like honestly out of four star artifacts that's all i need and I, i've got like 20 million Orioles. it's kind of sad uh, Aureus is actually one of the decent ones that you can have at just like um, less merges because uh, you can max merge it, but you have to realize that that unit's probably going to die wearing a max merged. Um... Hey, Bastion, I could use I could use more of these. Very cool. Um, you have to take into account that that person who's wearing the Aureus is probably going to die uh, from wearing that Aureus at max limit broken um, when non-max limit broken kind of makes it a little easier for them to like you know you still get some mitigation but you're not basically sentencing that unit to death um but yeah that's, that's kind of what's up with that and uh <laughs> that uh it, it signed me out of my other one finally that's funny um so here's kawazu uh, yeah, but yeah, so having like a, a, a lower merge or, or just kind of like a, a plus 15, like, you know, non-limit broken Aureus could be kind of beneficial because of what I just said, where it's like, you kind of like, you like the damage mitigation as well as the 10% defense buff to everyone, um, but you don't kind of necessarily sentence them, sentence them to death by just shoving all the damage into them. Hey, look, I'm an adamant, very good. This has been like an amazing summoning session. Um, Basically, it's, I've gotten everything I could have asked for and more, except for the miscon file. But even that, like I said, we're going to get one right now at, when we hit pity anyway. So there's really no no way I can complain about any of this. Um, like I said, uh, Aureus is beneficial to have it at like lower merges. Some a lot of a lot of copies of Aureus is good to have because you know you can have some at lower merges for whatever reason. Okay, we're twenty summons away. Let's see. Hey, damn! I, I have no idea how many like how much stuff I've gotten already. That's like what? Oh, I didn't have this one. Very cool. Let's see. What does this one do again? Oh, this is kind of one that I was thinking about. Um, like how it might work on a uh, ML Ken might be kind of interesting, right? Because now, granted, ML Ken, you kind of just want to go with that Sigurd Scythe because. 25% uh, attack increase with like all that lifesteal is just kind of dumb. Like it'll just like, yeah, it, it's really hard to survive that. Uh, given how much like crit damage you stack on him, basically you want to go 350 and then just like dump everything else into attack as much as you can. But um, one of the things that was kind of funny about this is that like, basically if you crit ML Ken, he's going to counter you, right? Um, but if you don't crit him, he's going to move up 8%, right? But I think that that, that 8% movement isn't, the 8% uh, CR boost isn't really worth um, that in general. So, you know, uh, yeah. The effect resistance is also very nice for building Ken because you kind of want some. But the thing is, it's like you're never building enough to really make it matter. Like if they're going to CC Ken, they're going to CC him. Uh, you're basically just kind of making it random so that like if they try to stun him, you can kind of they'll mess up right like kind of catch them off with the with the cr with the effect resistance and you, you try to stun them and you accidentally crit them and he just kills you back and basically you lost your cc there right so it's kind of that uh so yeah like i said i mean 
this summoning session has been going uh, fantastic. Uh, so yeah, I got logged out of my uh, instance that I was playing in uh, <laughs> on my phone where I was doing Labyrinth. And I think it didn't save any, uh, it obviously didn't save any of that. So basically, uh, that was just a big waste of time. So we're at 90. We've got 10 more summons. Let's see what we can get in this last 10 pull. One, two, so nothing there. Hopefully that that clicking doesn't come through for you guys. Um, I'm sure you get a quieter mouse. Okay, so it's looking like our, our luck ran out in the in the first half of that, or not even that, like the first like full uh, ninety summons of that. Oh look, here we go. Let's see if it's another Elfelt. Okay, so it's just a four star this time. An adamant shield would be great. I actually have so few adamant shields that like I have one max limit broken and then I have the other one like not max limit broken. Um, but I, I need another one, like another separate one. Um so I'm feeling like I should just like not merge that one into the into the into the second one that I have and just have three adamant shields. Um but I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look. I'll have to think about that one. Um, so yeah, uh, there's Rima, uh, final uh, ten pull there. Uh, let's do these. Uh, this one Moonlight Summon. Let's go over here. Let's see what we get. Uh, Mersa is basically the only um, Moonlight like non five star that I want. Uh, I have all the four stars I want. Ex well, I mean, I could I could kind of, you know, Broman's pretty good, and I don't have him, but I don't have the speed to make a Broman right now anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, and obviously, any five-star would be good. I mean, even repeats, because I have 30 of those uh, Galaxy Coins or whatever to, to just pick a five-star in that rotation thing. So any 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 repeat would be fine, um, and basically any new one would be fine. There's none that I'm like, I desperately want, except for obviously the... Um, the ML little bit, which because I, I missed her from from Mystics, but yeah, it's not like anything anyway. So there's really no reason to go into that. Uh, there's Otili. Um, you always want to save all your three star Moonlights because there's a chance they could get um, reworked or whatever. Not reworked, um, just like a specialty change. Um, so there's that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's not like leave this uh, without doing this here. It's kind of funny that uh, one soul is only worth like one twelfth of these three. <laughs> um, I actually built my soul because of these buffs. Uh, he's not very good, but you know, still interesting. Uh, let's yeah, let's let's get rid of all this stuff. Recently got a bunch of powder, I guess. Uh, let's arrange this one, two, three. It's kind of sad we don't get uh, powder off of that, but it's understandable. 12% or 12, uh, 12 of that stuff. Uh, let's go over here and pick this up. Must confile. Yay. Um, so I was kind of thinking I should put it on someone else, but I think like with Miss Confile specifically, uh, you really want it to be uh, closer to max limit broken rather than just having a bunch of copies because uh, not really there's not a whole lot of people who can use it right let's come over here really quickly and take a look at this now to me running it on like a, running out of like a counter set SSB sounds hilarious because not only are you defense breaking on the S2 but uh, you, you're running con file on her and then she has a, a counter set uh, and she's defense breaking possibly on this, which is hilarious, but um, yeah, There's not a whole lot of people who can use it. I mean she can use it, but she already has defense break on everything So basically you're just doubling down on that uh, She can kind of use it, but she needs the survivability that guiding light offers. So there's that uh, he He could use it again, but this is aoe this they should die. So 
hitting him with defense break is a waste of time, and you're not really using this very much. You're basically going to do this, maybe get this, and then, you know, if you get this, you're lucky, but you're not really, you know, general, no. Um, she can't, I mean, she can kind of use it because all these things are, are single target, but, like, why? This already has a defense break in there, and then you're going to kill them with this and defense break everyone, right? Theoretically, I mean, that's why you're using her, right? Is it going to happen all the time? No, and that's kind of why, you know, she's not as valuable. <laughs> um... That's kind of the idea, right? Is, is you want that to happen and and getting putting um, confile on her. She's basically securing, like, making giving you a bigger chance because it could resist the the innate defense break, but then you know they get the um, uh, but then they get the the confile defense break, right? So you're basically just double securing that for no real reason. Um, dual attack chance. I actually gave him this, but if you match him. Um, with this, oh, it's actually 20%. That's pretty, never mind. So basically leaving it like this is, is already maxed out, right? Because I, I didn't know it, and we, I barely, we, we a lot of us kind of barely found out with um, the release of the of Kana that 20% is the max dual attack chance you can get, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, so, I mean, as you can see here, we're basically running out of units already who could use Miss Confile, right? Um, she is just here for uh, poison, so that, who cares? I mean, her... This guy already has a defense break on the S3, and it's every other turn, so who cares? Uh, she kind of could, as well as her, which I might eventually one day. Um, because, like, she has a... Uh, this is AoE, but this is... You know, she does this, and then after that, it's only this, right? Um, with her, she has a strip, right? Strip into silence plus defense break and um, def def uh, decrease combat readiness. That's pretty. That's pretty good, right? That's like... Yeah, that's pretty good. It's just that, like, she's not, like, as useful as Cerise in general, and she takes Cerise-level gear, right? Um, but I think if, if you were to pull her, and for some reason you didn't have Cerise, she'd be a pretty good one. It's just that she doesn't, like... Like, the AoE strip into slow is pretty detrimental if they don't have some way to counter it, right? Where this is, like, one unit gets kind of screwed over, and it's like, eh. Um, especially because, like, like, you know, we're talking here... If you're just thinking about screwing over one unit, you can just kind of go elf felt, build the build her the same way you build a wanderer silk, and then maybe kill them, right? Something to consider. So, yeah, I think you know there's not really we don't have to go through all these uh, to kind of see that basically the only person who makes good use of this is in fact Cerise because she does have the um, let's look at here because she has the uh, dual attack on S1, right? So that's kind of that. Uh, but yeah, so probably just gonna merge it into this. Let's let me break this and um... basically, you want you kind of want to get as far away over 50 percent as you can, right? Because fifty percent is is kind of eh. Uh, but mathematically, kind of getting over fifty percent is very beneficial um, in the long run. So. We'll see if I get enough, uh, pow if I have enough powder to, in fact, um, let's see, we can uh, get rid of this. We'll see if we have enough powder to get the uh, the one out of the, the powder of knowledge shop by uh, by the end of the rotation. Welcome. Let's come over here. Obviously, like I said, this is a pretty good artifact, but the thing is, this is only really like. It's good on, on a lot of mages who have AoE, right? So it's, it's pretty decent on them. Uh, but it's really kind of like the go-to, I think, to personally anyway, I think it's like the go-to artifact for um, Celestial Mercedes if you're planning to use her as like a cleaver. Um, because Celestial Mercedes gives, gives herself 20% per crit on her S3. Right? I think, yeah, on the S3. 20% CR boost on the S3 per crit, right? Which is 80% if you have 100, or if you crit all of them, right? It's eighty percent, but this gives you twenty percent at max limit broken, which basically means you 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 get your next turn guaranteed. It's a hundred percent CR boost, um, and then you know after that she has three she has twos, which does a lot of damage based on enemy HP scaling, right? I think so. Um, on top of the fact that you have an attack boost, it's you know basically she's one of the better cleavers I think uh, for that way the, the the main problem is that like cleaving in arena is kind of like it's not dead but it's severely hindered because everybody's running politis on their defense now uh so that that, that kind of cuts you down to 50 percent cr boost on her anyway so you know it's not it really isn't that worthwhile so 
that's something to consider. Uh, Torn Sleeve is kind of interesting. It's it's like if you're if you're having trouble with Wyvern and maybe you're running Karin or something, um, probably giving her this would be pretty good because not only is she uh, self-sufficient for defense breaks, but now she's also covering having extra debuffs on the, t on the enemy. Uh, and then have another damage dealer, and you're basically solid from there, right? Um, I mean, just with this and, like, uh, um, what's her name? Just with this and... Uh, 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 drawing a blank here, the girl, um, Cigarette, like, Corinne with this and Cigarette probably is like a, is, is a two-person, uh, Wyvern team at that point, uh, theoretically, I don't know, who knows, right, uh, but yeah, uh, then Confile, obviously, is the only thing in here that's really worth taking, because, like, Confile is useful no matter what, right, you know, it's not like, oh, suddenly it's only useful at, you know, at max the same way this is, um, this is useful no matter what, just getting a defense break is, is dumb, um, yeah, so pretty good summoning session today. Uh, we didn't get anything out of out of moonlights, but eh, who cares, right? Uh, like I said, there's nothing I need out of moonlights anyway. I mean, I, I recently just got my uh, Tempest Surin, and she's max limit broken or whatever, max merges. Um, so I was pretty happy about that. So after I got T Surin, basically I don't have any need for uh, galaxies anymore, other than just like, of course there's some nice to haves, right? Like I'd rather I'd like a Tywin, you know, I'd like. Uh, uh, who else? I, obviously, like I said, I like I, I'd like ML Lilibet. Um, I'd like a, I'd like Koana. Koana is pretty cool, but I'm not gonna pull here uh, for Koana. Uh, as you can see, I, I summoned a few more since that uh, Mystic summoning video, and I still didn't get the ML Lilibet, so that kind of sucks. Uh, at least I'm ready for next pity. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna pull for Solitaria. I might wait to see who's after her, or like you know who's at the who's the new one. Because after her is gonna be someone is gonna be a rerun, and then after that rerun is gonna be a new one. So I might wait for those two to see who's next in the rerun, or see who's next in the new unit pool. Um, but yeah, well, I'll probably make a video on that later, and you know whenever that comes up. Uh, but yeah, good luck to you guys out there, and um, hopefully you guys get as good luck as I did, considering you know we got quite a bit from that. Uh, yeah, and that'll be all for today.